think part of maybe the the challenge is around getting that getting employers to understand the impact of the investment and the ROI and how can we really make that point more direct between you know if you invest in the well-being of your of your team then you're going to have an ROI uh, as well in terms of the success of your organization yeah I, I think that's a really important question first it's a philosophical view of how does an employer view their colleagues or their employees in the health benefits. Did they view them as more transactional and is the benefit an expense? Or did they view the employees as a strategic asset and then the investment in benefits like any other strategic investment? So one is attitudinal as you start and, and their choices. Second is um, we've developed now and it's, it's two years of history um, in the marketplace, the Evernorth Vitality Index. It's a mechanism to measure overall physical, mental, spiritual, financial well-being and identify where their strengths and help employers invest in the areas of strength to make sure they remain strengths and where there's opportunities or weaknesses and target those areas for opportunity. And we are able to measure and correlate presenteeism, lower turnover rates, higher productivity rates, higher engagement rates. And that helps an employer get better visibility into the ROI because the ROI is not just the elimination of a medical service. It's a higher level of productivity, engagement, loyalty of, of your coworkers, if you could return, lower the turnover rate or increase the presenteeism rate, that is a massive return on investment. So the Evernorth Vitality Index is a, a mechanism that we have in the United States and 12 countries around the world, including the kingdom here, to be able to measure vitality at an individual level or at an employer level or at a city level or at an affinity group level and then be more precise and diagnostic around that.